Well, I've been doing some more planning and I'm getting real close to laying some track. I'm still working on some risers here. I made the main layout that I've drawn out here on paper and laid over the plywood um, four inches from here to there. It's four inches. I don't know if you can see that. So the main railroad is setting up four inches. That way I can have some cuts and stuff here into it to make it look higher and lower, kind of an illusion that it isn't flat. Um, we'll just start right here. Here's a branch line. And that branch line comes down here. It'll start a 2% grade right here going down. Originally my main plan was this for be just a small yard area, just to have a few cars sorted or an interchange. And it goes on down. I'm going to walk on around the other side here because it's easier than rolling the railroad in trying to film it. We'll just start here at the end where the branch ends. The branch will give me a chance to add on to the railroad later if I ever have this in a bigger room. And we'll just walk on around here where we were. Like I said, it'll be a 2% grade coming down. And it comes into a, there'll be a turnout right there. At least open up to one track. There's room for probably one more track if I wanted one. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to put a turnout going the other way right here, going back to some kind of business down there, a small, like, pike stuff engine facility or something. Right now I have a depot sitting down here, and I, I've always kind of liked the idea of a stub-end track going into an old depot. I might make this, like... A little railroad office like they're still using it. It's a nice Santa Fe Depot that I had built a long time ago when I was modeling in scale stuff kind of in a 50s kind of scheme. But I've always liked this depot. I thought that I did a pretty good job building it. It's got some nice dust built up on it from sitting on a shelf for years. But it's a nice depot. So the right now you can see clear across there where the little bridge is. That's where it's going to come off back onto the main line. And the main line curves around here and it comes into a curved turnout. I made a little run around out of this. There's these two tracks here, the outside one. And it runs around here and it would come into a, it's hard to see, but there'll be a turnout right there. And then the other turnout there. And it can this is the main line. There's a little runaround siding here on the inside and one turnout going off this way for a business to go down there and there's a switch back here for another turnout to go back this way. So it's got a couple spurs here, room for another business here. Probably some kind of grain elevator on one and maybe a little lumber yard or something. I uh, would like to have a small concrete plant. So there might be a concrete plant at one of them, I don't know. And I thought right here would be a small mountain going into the backdrop. Just a tunnel portal kind of into a big hillside. And it'll continue kind of on down a ravine here. I would like to have a place for some rocks to be loaded for the concrete plant. Like a glacier gravel Walters kind of thing or something down here. Maybe even a little addition right here so it can sit a little further back and still fit in the space. I might make it so it folds down and goes under the railroad when I'm not using it. I'm going to put a backdrop down this long run here through that gap. And on this side over here, a couple little small town buildings maybe on the other side of this bridge. I'm going to have some kind of ravine or a small stream right here going under the two tracks. They're Walters bridges, or not Walters, excuse me, they're Cotto bridges that I had from when I was using the Unitrack, but I'm going to take the track out of them and put some Code 55 Atlas track in there. And one turnout here going to some type of business over here in this town. This might be where the concrete plant will go. I haven't made my mind up really what's going where. Either that or this might be like a lone elevator. I was kind of hoping for some kind of scenery to where it looks like it might be like Montana or something with some mountainous hills, some trees and stuff, just a little scenery divider there. And I thought down here this would be a good place for an overpass where that exacto box is on the other side. And it, the backdrop will end right here where you can kind of see it still, but you don't really see the other town. 
Um, like I said, I'm still kind of planning. I don't have any of the risers put in underneath the underneath this part here, but I think it's probably pretty close to what it'll look like. The branch line should be about two inches lower than the the main line if I have it figured right. It's about a hundred inches from over here where the grade will start going down around to the other end of the curve there. And I figure if it drops two inches and a hundred inches that's two percent if I've read everything right that I've been reading about figuring grade. Um, please leave your comments. It'd be great to hear them. I can't leave any back. I can't reply to you back on here. I don't have this link to my Google Plus. I guess that's what it's asking me to do to make a comment. It won't let me on my phone. And so I am reading the comments that you leave. I appreciate them. Any tips are helpful. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to be in Railnut. I think your little layout is looking pretty cool. I like your videos. I really like that one you made where you made the cabless unit. Um, please keep commenting, everybody, and have a good day, and I'll make more videos as I finish more, hopefully some more this weekend. Thanks.